can just start off. What is up, guys? <clears throat> I don't know. Toby's back from the potty. Are we going? Yeah, dude. Hey, guys. Welcome back to... This is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Cue it's... intro music. Really? No, no funny... No, no, nothing, nothing, uh, no zingers, no puns, we're just going right into it. You're not, you know, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, sheesh, what were you going to say? I usually think we just do a, uh, do like a little, uh, little something funny at the beginning. Like what? A little something, a little, uh, little beginner, uh, fun. Little, little little joke here and there, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Slip in a knock-knock joke or something. Knock-knock. Who's there? <laughs> Intro music. <laughs> oh, my. All right, cool. We're back. Let's go. Third podcast in a row. Yeah. It's Sunday. Yeah, we usually record on Saturdays, but... But we figured our views are down, so maybe we mix up the day. <laughs> <laughs> sure. No, our views have never been up, so they can't be down yet. Yeah. Let's What's start. in the news? I don't know. <laughs> what you're... are we talking about? What's the news? I don't know, dude. Um... In recent weeks, yeah. uh, a famous YouTuber named Josiah Tombley has been getting huge amounts of subscribers and views on his YouTube channel. Um, what else? <clears throat> um, check out Josiah Tomley on YouTube. Shout out Josiah. Why can't we Hasht- get large amounts of subscribers? Hashtag run my brother. Um, dude, not muscular enough. I think that might be it. I think they can't feel our buffness through the podcast. That's yeah. what the deal is. Maybe yeah. we just need to work out mm. during the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> just grunt noises. Like, Arr! <laughs> 15... <laughs> 16, 17, 18. <laughs> spot me, spot me, spot me. <laughs> going down, going down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit much. I think that would work, though. I think we'll scrap that idea. <clears throat> this workout is a lot harder than I thought. That would be the new name of the podcast. <laughs> so, uh, you excited about your uh, recent purchases? Of- yep, so I bought the camera. Bought his dream camera that he's been saving up for like two years? Two years, something like that. Well, not this specific camera, but just yeah, like you've been, yeah, a professional but... grade camera, I guess. Yeah. And this is the best one that I can afford. <laughs> so, yes, I got, I got it. It's in the mail. Yeah, it hasn't come yet. It's on its way. Got some new lenses. Pretty and some other excited. Thing. Pretty excited. I need to buy a new lens for my camera because my mm. my lens just like fell apart. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it's so bad. It's hilarious. Yeah. So, uh, what are you what are you pumped about? How's work? Work's good. Work's good. Busy. We got a lot of clients coming up, so uh, probably gonna be the busiest summer so far in the company. So yeah. it's good to be busy. It's good. I think, oh, we're getting an intern. We're getting this, ah, uh, oh, it's a pretty funny story, actually. It's like, so we, we found this intern, I think Kevin found him through, like, Instagram or something, and he's a vlogger. <laughs> he's, like, in high school. He's, like, 17. Um, And, yeah, he vlogs, and mm-hmm. he has, like, 400 videos online. Mm-hmm. And, like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> he's, like, 400 videos, and he has, like, 600 subs, which isn't bad. But, yeah, he's got a ton of videos, and he's not bad. I mean... For posting that consistently, you don't expect the videos to be, like, super crazy, but... Yeah. Yeah, so he reached out to him, and he was like, yeah, yeah, I'd love to. This is an amazing opportunity. I'm so stoked. And his dad's all into it. He's like, yeah, I'm going to buy him a laptop so he can, like, pursue this more and, like, really go into it. But the problem is he doesn't have a car. Oof. And uh, so that means... And his dad wouldn't be able to drop him off because his dad goes to work at 8, and we start at 9, and he wouldn't be able to pick him up and whatever. So anyways... The, the catch is he's, he's able to work for free. Like, he's like, yeah, I'll work for free. Like, I'll be a free summer intern, and you guys teach me whatever, and you guys – it would be valuable for him. He'd learn a ton. But yeah, we'd have to pick him up and drop him off every day we wanted him to work. And, like, Kevin was like, we could take turns. But, like, I'm like, dog, 
He lives in Olathe. Oof. I'm in Grandview, and we work at Brookside. And <laughs> it'd be different if he's like on the way or like in right. The way. Yeah, but it's like a 35 minutes out, 35 minutes to Brookside, and then 35 minutes back, and then 35 minutes to my house it would be. It's just so much, and I'm like, is it really worth it? I said no, but I feel like they're gonna say yes because I have no say in the matter, anyways. <laughs> Probably true. It'll work out though. So that's that'd be fun though. No. I mean the drive. <laughs> the, the driving would not. The be driving fun. would not be fun. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah. I could just give him a bunch of stuff that I don't want to do. But yeah. <laughs> Rude. No, I mean it'd be nice. Yeah, uh, post this for me. I'm so tired. Make a caption. Give me a thumbnail. Fair enough. Yeah, what's going on with you? How's the bike? You crashed yet? Uh, no, no crashes. I've uh, laid it down, but that's just like uh, laying it down. <laughs> mm. Uh, yeah, it's kind of fun, jumping it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You're on X Games mode. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed at that. Um, yeah, <laughs> my friend, my friend just uh, left for Thailand three weeks. And it's like his first time out of the country. Where is he going in Thailand? Uh, Bangkok. Nice. Yeah. And a bit of everywhere else around that, but Bangkok. It's like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, have you ever been out of the country? Nope. No? Never. I need to get my passport, though, because you hear about them changing the laws about, like, traveling state to state. You're going to need a passport. Never heard that. Yep. I mean. It's like, it's coming into effect, like, September or something like that. You need a passport to, like, go state to state. Mm. Serious. Look it up, dude. <laughs> I'm not up. even kidding. <laughs> Everyone's going to need a passport. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Let me, let, let me fact check this. Yeah, that's that doesn't seem like it's... You, do, you don't think that sounds like something that would actually happen? Mm, not this soon. We'll see. Let's see. Passport law. Like... To <laughs> go to different state like in america how are they gonna like charge that they're gonna have to like this is a passport check like like every single state like every single road that goes <clears throat> into that state though maybe it's just flying i don't know let's see because you don't need a passport to fly in the states you may need a passport to fly now if you live in these states oh, okay what <laughs> some driver's license won't be sufficient Ooh, see boom Starting my domestic flights using a driver's license, all Americans must have a license that means a new hire is in standard law. Now requires the states of U.S. territories to adhere to a stricter security measures of issuing state licenses. Okay, this has nothing to do with the passport. Yeah, that's exactly what had to do with it. If you um, live in a state that is already in compliance with the law, you can still use your current license on board domestic flights. Those states include Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas. Okay, so there's like a, all of them, basically. There's just tons of states. Yeah, um, they wouldn't do that because we're one singular country. But they're trying to like feed out the people who don't have an actual like passport and identification. Yeah, right. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah, I think. Yeah, um, that's what I hear. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know when this is like doing effect, but they're trying to. I don't know if they have passed it or they're gonna pass it, but interesting nonetheless. Yeah, that seems kind too, of a nuisance. That team seems too much like um, just what Nazi Germany did. Everyone had to have papers for yeah. anything. Interesting. So history repeats itself. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, it would just be a nuisance, right? It wouldn't really affect anyone. <clears throat> uh, it wouldn't affect anyone. It would. The only people it would affect are the law-abiding citizens. Why? Because they're the ones that are going to go through all the hoops to actually, like... Well, they just need to get their passport, Get the right papers and stuff, you know? But, like, the It's not hard to get your passport. No. Or you just have to sit in line. It's time-consuming and stuff. They're, like... Whatever. It's, yeah, but, I mean, I'm just saying that it's, like... The people it's going to be harder for is the people that actually want to, like, be law-abiding citizens. If people, like, are, like... Some random legal illegal immigrant from like Russia was just living in the states, like, then they'd be like, they'd just find a loophole to get around it. They they wouldn't they probably wouldn't go get a passport, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's just like, I don't know. There's a lot of laws like that that more so just like mess up the people who actually want to be law-abiding citizens. 
But we're such a big country that it's so hard to, like, crack down on yeah. simple things. Like, things that work in Europe don't necessarily work in America because of how big we are and how diverse we are. And we are the land of the immigrants. We have all sources of people. So. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know, it's just like huge. America's a lot bigger than people expect, like, think it is. Like, England's, like, only the size of Pennsylvania. So, <laughs> that's not the United Kingdom, but just England itself. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I lost all track. I'm confused yeah. where we're at right now. We're nowhere. Um, we're in a podcast. I haven't bought deodorant for, like, <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do a topic board next week. But so this I need is to go to the topic. store and I need to buy batteries, double A, and I need to buy deodorant because Wait. showers aren't sufficient. <laughs> Listen to me, guys. I'm just figuring out that like, I, like I knew already you need deodorant. Like, uh, don't smell. But like, I didn't realize how much showers don't do anything for your body odor. <laughs> <laughs> like, they don't. Like, you can shower as much, and like by the end of the day. If you, like, like a couple hours later, you're still going to smell. Like, yeah. Even if you shower. What the heck is up with that? Why can't... I understand why kids just put deodorant on, like, middle schoolers just, like, spray themselves with cologne. Because it's like, you're still... You know? Like, I get it. Like, showers don't do a thing. Like, I get it. They, like, it washes, you know, your hair and gets the oils off your body or whatever. But you're still going to stink. <laughs> Or at least I am, anyways. <laughs> yeah, so you stink. Maybe I just, like, perpetuate more body odor than most people. I don't know why I'm sharing this on the podcast. It's really nasty. It's like, <laughs> maybe I'll get deodorant. Though. Why do you need AA batteries? Like, I'll smell myself. Like, unintentionally <laughs> smell myself. Like, I'll get whiffs of it. Like, during work, I'll be like, oh, my gosh. Like, I need to go get some deodorant. But I'm always so lazy. I'm like, oh, like, that's just something I don't want to go out and buy. And why do you need AA batteries? Oh, because my Xbox controller. <laughs> I've been passing, <laughs> I've been, uh, I've been passing two AA batteries between the TV remote upstairs and my Xbox <laughs> controller downstairs in my room, so whenever I want to flip through channels upstairs, I'll take them out of my Xbox controller, put them in the, um, remote upstairs, <laughs> and then vice versa, whenever I want to play Xbox, I'll take them out, and, uh, That's too much It's work. a lot of work, I could just go get some batteries, but I don't, because That's the same with your I'm deodorant problem, you could probably go, you probably take two showers a day, because you're like, oh, <laughs> Oh, it smells so bad when you literally. could just go get some <laughs> deodorant. Literally, it's my life right now. Oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> how was uh, how was playing soccer on Saturday in the heat? It was not that hot actually. Like two weeks ago, it was way harder. Yeah. And hotter. So this one is, is fine. You pull any cool moves out on people? No. Scored a good one though. I just hate those small sided games. I want to play with real goals. I love. I hate how Ruskin also took down. Yeah, they freaking. All the schools just take down the soccer goals yeah. when it's not soccer season. But yet they leave, like, the field open for football and the track open. But they just take the goals down. Why yeah. do they do that? They don't want people to steal them. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. I don't get it's it. It's too big to what steal. What is the big idea? Like, what, what do they think they're going to do? I don't that know. That they're not going to do, like, all right, so people are going to, like, destroy the goals or something? Me, or do yeah, they want man. people off the field in general? I don't know. It's, it's a public, public place. It's public property. Right. It's, like, <sighs> so frustrating. It's, like, I want to play. Let's just, like, build our own soccer goals. And, like, no, like them there. build them on, like, <laughs> make regulation size we soccer should. goals. Just out of, like, PVC or something. Set our own locks on <laughs> like they do. Lock them up, yeah. So dumb. Uh, no, nah, dude, you had some good dribbles and lots of good plays. It was fun, fun watching you and fun stopping you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Love uh, stop. my dad scored a hat trick. Yeah, your dad's good. Yeah, fifty-five. He's almost. He's. That's how I'm trying to be when I'm fifty-five. For real. He's about to turn fifty-five. Is your dad really in shape his whole life? Yeah, I mean, he didn't gain weight till Did he. Did he ever work out? No. Okay, good. That's then I have hope. Like, <laughs> you know, because yeah. I just feel like I'm not going to. Um, I just, I also want to be in shape and be able to move and stuff. I weighed more when I was sixteen to eighteen or so, 
than you do now? Than my dad did when oh. he got married. My dad weighed 130 when he got married. <laughs> How old was he when he got married? Uh, 30, uh, late 20s, early 30s. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> yeah, late 20s. Yeah, so. Crazy. That's where I get my metabolism from. Nice. Yeah, my, I, I don't want to say it. Yeah. What? I think I'll be, I think I'll be fine until maybe 15. I think, <laughs> I think my Tazlin will be good. I think you'll just be fat as soon as you hit 50. No, I'll never gain, be fat, but just I'll gain 30 pounds. I'll probably get like like a tummy or something that I can rest like a drink on or something, you know, when I'm watching the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the goal anyway. It's be sweet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know. I'd like to be active. You just got to take care of your body and lots of all ranges of athletes like like rec recreational athletes to like professional athletes don't take care of their bodies enough you it's it's not that hard it's just you gotta stay consistent with like stretching and like a little bit of like conditioning where you work out a bit for specific reasons and i think i think where people go wrong is they'll like be really athletic and then stop stop for like years and years and then hop right back into it once in a while and then be like oh i'm right back ah, i feel like a kid again and it's like boom and then like injury or something like oh great like <laughs> you can't do anything like i used to and they're like why can't i do all this but it's like eh, you haven't been doing anything for 10 years yeah so uh but aren't you the one that's like i think the best way to run a marathon is just hop right into it no i think the uh i think i think in the long run, it's like a ton of pain, but all that pain is at one time. Instead of like drawing out all this running you have to do before. <laughs> so it's like, like all this, like for a marathon to train for it, you have to go through a lot of pain to train for a marathon because you have to run. You have to run marathons before you run the marathon. Like you have to run half marathons and you have to run all this. So you're going through more pain. Why not just take all that pain? on the day of the marathon and suck <laughs> it up like just do it you might faint here and there but get back up and finish it and then boom you did it without any training <laughs> that's what i'm gonna do one day <laughs> you should uh, it's a terrible idea it's you, really bad but you should go sign up to be in uh just size the marathon just size running no i'm just, not ready just to see <laughs> no. i'm not ready mentally no we, thing. we need to mentally no ready. we need we need to test this theory <laughs> <laughs> I'll literally come in last place. I'll do it with behind you. Behind the wheelchair region. I'll do it. Like, behind everyone. <laughs> I've never ran a marathon. I'd like to Me sometime. Either. Just just cause. Sure. Uh, um, last week I was uh, walking stilts at work for the first time. So I was like actually up on stilts. Why? Uh, to reach higher. You were on stilts? Yeah. Like clown stilts? Yeah. They use those? Yeah. Why not just a ladder? Um, one, our company has a company policy that we can't use ladders. But you can use stilts. Why not use moon shoes? <laughs> just bounce up there. Dude, I taped the moon shoes to the bottom oh, of, of course, my stilts. Of course, of course. Right. Uh, I was doing ceiling grid stuff. So That's you like so funny. have to walk around a lot to like get to it real quick. So if you were using a ladder, you'd be like, okay, and then move the ladder. Okay, and then... Yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah. But uh, first time ever walking on stilts. Yeah naturally wouldn't bad um it was, it was pretty good like the end of the day though i took the stilts off and my legs felt so light and i was like whoa my legs are floating now hmm. it just felt so light just That's i, what, I uh, was really excited i I started to get excited i was like hey my legs are gonna get stronger from like pulling all this weight around but i was like wait that's like a different muscle for jumping like jumping you'd want to do like weight lifting where you're like pushing you're lifting so you're pushing against the ground mm. with like ankle weights or like walking stilts you're well you're still getting you're, stronger anyways. You're, yeah you're getting stronger it's just a you. different motion and so um, so it won't really help my parkour it might help other aspects i, I think it might just in ways you probably don't think directly but yeah overall yeah. it might um that's what yeah that's what like a lot of athletes do is just like carry around ankle weights all the time <laughs> like yeah, you told me that. it really does help like cristiano ronaldo i heard like as a kid he would just wear those to practice or like hmm. maybe he still does but i've used them before at practice and and your feet feel so quick after you take them off 
and you're like, wow, this is amazing. Because they just feel like lightning fast, and you're like, ooh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Nice. Something you have to be consistent with, too. Anyways, what was I about to talk about? <laughs> Do you have any main life goals you want to complete before you die? <clears throat> I'd like to make films. I don't know if there will be... F- it's so broad, though. I feature, want something specific. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't know if it, like... Do you have any specific things that you, like... All right, before I die, I need to do this. Travel to as many countries as possible. That's super broad, too. I know. Is there a specific number, or, like, do you just need to travel to one? Like, how many is enough? Dude, there isn't enough. You should write down how much you need before you die. How much I need before? Like, how much stuff you need to finish before you die. I think that'd be cool. That's called a bucket list. Okay. (laughs) Sure. Um... I need to write down that, too. I was just thinking the other day, I was like, dang, yeah, like, I'd feel, like, super bummed if I didn't make a feature film before I died, just because I really want to do that. Yeah, I get that. It doesn't necessarily need to be in theaters, but that'd be dope. I get the, like, live with, with like, to have vision and to have a goal, but I'm also, like, go with the flow <laughs> at the same time. Well, sure. I don't know. There's stuff that I'd like to do, but it's, like... But if you're not chasing anything become stagnant pretty easily yeah i get that unmotivated to do anything yeah you know i think you should always be striving for something or to do something yeah i just want to get past the striving for it and like actually go for it <laughs> that's exactly what striving is though. Uh, yeah, okay going for it i get that even if you're taking like a step a day to get closer to it fair enough yeah like like you want to do like <clears throat> parkour stuff so you like train yeah like, every, like and take steps and stretch and all that. It's like the same thing for like goals. Yeah. Anyways, what's another goal besides make a make a feature feature mm, length film? Have a family. Yeah, kids. I want to be, I wanna be I wanna a father. Kids. Um. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, that's tough, man. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't written them all down. Fair enough. I've written any down actually. <laughs> <laughs> But I yeah, don't know. There's, is, those there's, are two big ones. There's so much stuff to do and stuff <coughs> I want to do. Like, skydiving would be fun. Like, Which we were supposed to do. Dang, we never went skydiving. Let's just go get your tattoo What first. did we do? We were in a movie today, last week. To this week. Yesterday. We were in a movie, yesterday. Yesterday, we were in a... In our friend's film. I which will took this picture. Probably be a feature-length film. What, what picture did you take? Yeah, basically me and Elijah are going to be famous now. I just deleted it. It was red. Oh. Like, up my thumb or something. Oh, accidental photo? Yeah. Yeah, going to be famous. Um, <laughs> we're, we're in this film, like, one scene. Two I, scenes? I'm in, like, three scenes. So oh, shoot. Okay, big, okay. Big money stuff. I see you. Yeah. And, I don't know. Acting's funny. hard, man. <laughs> How many times did you, like, crack a smile while in the back? No, never cracked a smile, but, like... You just don't know I, how to be. I just, like, can't control... I feel like I can't have good control over my facial expression. Like, like I'll think of an emotion, and I'll try to replicate that, <laughs> and it won't come out on my face. So, uh, like, body control is really impressive. When I, like, look at movies now, I'm like, wow, like, they convey that emotion with their face and their body, like, length, like posture. Yeah. And, like to do that is hard it is like for me to think of like okay anger get angry and then like make my face look angry like that's tough yeah like without looking corny and cheesy you're making me angry (laughs) exactly (laughs) that's exactly what i think of when i try to get angry (laughs) um but yeah i wish i was a really good actor acting is really hard it's definitely an art form i think it's all mental it's very it's very mental it's just like you become the character like all right you're it yeah, there's some people who are, like, so, like, the only way they can act is method acting. And then other people, it's just, like, they don't have to worry about that, and they're just there. Like, they don't have to think about sad things to make them cry. They'll right. just instantly cry. Yeah. But it's, like, it's really crazy, because method acting is what makes acting, like, it helps a lot. Because it makes it more real to you, personally, to then translate you into whatever character you're you're playing. But I can see how, like, it can take, like, such a toll on your body, just, like, in the mentality that you have to go through all the time. Yeah, like, that's, like, what happened with Heath Ledger. Yeah. Dark Knight. Yeah, it's kind of, like, scary to think of that, like, 
going so far that it's like it really messes with you. But but what a way to go out, dude. <laughs> I mean, with one of the best performances ever. I mean, okay, yeah, he had a great performance, it's like, but it's just he, he literally go, did go down as a legend. He because didn't of that. really go out really well. No, I mean, it's I mean, terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> it's like, but at the same time, it's like, oh, like, like it's better making like a crappy movie and then being like, oh, and then he goes, like he really did do one of the best performances I've ever seen. Anyways, fair enough. Shout out Heath Ledger. Rest in peace. What a great actor. Have you seen uh, 10 Things I Hate About You? No. Was that his last movie that he did? No, he was pretty young when he did that. No. Uh, it's, it's like a pretty good like rom-com kind of deal. I think you told me about it. Have you seen Night's Tale? Yes. Love that. Did a good job in that, too. It's so weird to like see actors like think of them like old versus new. Like... When yeah, they're, when they're younger and stuff, or when yeah. they're older, like I, I popped on a new Pirates of the Caribbean movie that they're milking. <laughs> the uh, what is it like six now? I think it's the fifth or sixth Ugh. one. Um, and the I don't know. I just put it on so I'd fall asleep, and I did fall asleep. <laughs> 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 it nice. was it was kind of like rough, the beginning of it. But it was just like seeing like Johnny Depp and just like picturing in my mind like what he used to look like when he was like super young and it's like kind of crazy and like even um <clears throat> orlando bloom looked like really old in it for like the he's still in it yeah too? he's in it wow it was i uh, yeah whatever pays the bills i guess yeah yeah it, I, it, he, it made me also feel in, like the hobbit movies so yeah like in several it made me feel like um just like when actors get like dragged in to like do another series like how many times do you think they're like, no, I'm not going to do that? Or they're like, okay, yeah, easy money. <laughs> That's probably what they're thinking. Like, I don't know. I hope that I'd be like, more, take a stronger stand on like, <clears throat> stuff I'm actually passionate about. But I also get the like, you need to pay the bills. <laughs> so Especially like, as an actor, dude, it's so hard. Yeah, and turning. You don't know when the next paycheck is gonna come. Turning, turning any art. What well, if you, being an actor and making like a million dollars? That's not hard. Like, you're not living a hard life. No, but the lifestyle that they live, they need to consistently make that kind of money. That's why you. You need. These to guys aren't like living in the suburbs. They're yeah. celebrities, so they have to constantly have a constant flow of income. So if they're they don't know when the next movie is, like, a lot of famous actors have a big break and they'll be in like. 20 movies and then nothing for like 10 years yeah and except like small things that they can get and then they then their name gets like you know like it's like oh yeah i remember him and (laughs) yeah stranger things is the guy from the goonies what guy (laughs) you know uh, bob in stranger things season two bob yeah bob you mean Samwise Gamgee? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's in plenty of movies. No, he's yes. only in the Goonies. No, no. He was in Lord Rudy. The... He was in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> he was in Goonies. He was in uh, this other rugby movie that I saw. Yeah, I see. Four movies. Dog. Four he's, movies. A, he's doing fine. He's in four movies. But, no, maybe, but maybe what I'm saying is... Yeah. What I'm saying is it's the it's like the nostalgic name. The only reason they they really picked him was he put an audition in and they're like what the heck yeah i saw that samwise they're Kenji, like, the guy from tape <laughs> the guy from the goonies put in a tape for us um dog oh. he's not best known for the goonies yeah he is <laughs> no, he's childhood not. actor he's probably one of the, he's one of the few childhood actors that have actually like made it as like he's, an adult actor if anyone looks at him it's like oh that's samwise Gamgee. They don't go, oh, that's the guy from the Goonies. No. Yes, dude. <laughs> I promise you. I'm just giving you our time. Lord Rings is way bigger than the Goonies. Screw the Goonies. No, dude. dude. Goonies is older. More pop. No, no, no. Not more pop. More pop. It's like, not even a comparison. Dude, there's such a bigger fan. The biggest trilogy there's in a... the world. No. <laughs> there's the Goonies a... is trash. There's a compared bigger. Compared to that. There's a... Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me angry. <laughs> There's a bigger fan. Quit! Quit! Quit it! Quit! Stop! You're lying! You're lying to all these people listening right now. Stop! Stop! (laughs) 
I'm turning this podcast off. No more. There's such you a You know bigger... you're lying right now. There's no, no one is a Goonies fan. No one. No one out there is like wearing Goonies t-shirts, having Goonie action figures. Dude, I Nobody. see them all the time. <laughs> the Goonies fandom is bigger than Lord of the Rings fandom. Just going to lay that out there. <laughs> Goonies Let's never say back. die. Let's bring it. <laughs> Dude, the Goonies. So stupid. You're messing with me, dog. I'm tired of this. <laughs> Maybe you should go take a nap. What I need to do is watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy to refresh myself. <laughs> Just cleanse. Like, oh, okay. Let's restart. Maybe I need a this detox. <laughs> detox. <laughs> put, some, put some more, uh, put some new Lord of the Rings in. <laughs> Just listen to the soundtrack over again. Have you uh, gone to see the solo movie yet? No, I haven't. I heard it was dope. It's probably a lot better than The, <laughs> the Last one. Jedi. I, I didn't go see it. Last Jedi is trash. Didn't go to see it. Um, one of my friends made a post about uh, Infinity War and was like, was anyone else as disappointed as I was? And I was like, nope, because I didn't go see it. <laughs> and she was like, fair enough. I liked Infinity War. Marvel and Star Wars are doing the same thing. It's what what I don't get is it's called Infinity War, but the movie ends. <laughs> I was wondering how long you keep a straight face there. You did a pretty good job. I was waiting for you, um, too. <laughs> anyways, I'm not even going to comment on that. No, it's, 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 it's like even the mysterious, you know, like even when the bad guys win, spoiler alert, even when the bad guys win in that movie, it's like so obviously set up that the good guys are going to win. Eventually, so you can't yeah. even like, yeah. you can't even be like, oh no, it's different. No, because it's just, it's just another setup for the same thing. Yeah. It's just, it's a two part movie that they're splitting up. It, it's, it's just two parts. And right now we're at the lull of of the movie, but then it's going to pick up into the next one. How, how long is this? 30 minutes. Okay. You want to do a short podcast today? Yeah, sure. End it at like 35? Yeah. 40? 50? <laughs> 70. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. It sells. It, keep, it, keeps, no, making, no. it keeps making money, so they're going to keep doing it. If you like those movies, good on for you. Keep supporting the system <laughs> and, you know, directors. Um... <laughs> The one dude that this is becoming a movie podcast. It is. I mean, That's it's cool. just, it's just because we're so like in involved in. Oh, I just watched the Gambler today, dude. I just watched so the end of the Gambler today, good, dude. It's, it was kind of good. It's so good. It was kind of good. Um, it's really good. The ending, I never saw it before today, and the ending or the whole film. The I ending mean. is, it, you know, if you have a bad ending, the the film sucks. Yeah. So like the whole film leads up to the ending, and if that and it nailed it, so it means the whole movie was good, because it had a whole build up. Yeah. And it made you all like, oh no, his whole life is screwed, and then boom, he gets this whole. Anyways, Gambler's great. Yeah, no spoilers. Good job. Go watch it. Pretty decent. Quite a few. Qu- quite quite a bit of language. But I watched it on TV, so they blanked every. It's so funny. Like overdubs are so funny. They'll add like flipping. Yeah. And like the mouth will be like, bleep, and like, <laughs> and like you can tell it's not his real voice. It's like, just a change. Of... Yeah. Pitch change and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nonetheless, great film. Yeah, really good acting in that too, and I only saw the end of it. And Marky Mark, man. I like the end of it. So. You know good. he has a restaurant. Yeah, I heard that actually recently. My, my dad, Did I hear that from you? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. No, probably not. No. My dad, my dad went to it <laughs> like once or twice when he was like up in Detroit. It's in Detroit. It is. Is it just one or is it a chain? Uh, it's a chain. That's awesome. Yeah. Good for him. It's like called the Wahlburgers. That's what every single celebrity should do: is like get their hands in something else. Yeah. Because their career is going to end eventually. <laughs> they need Dude, other kind of. Income. Apparently, Jared Leto is like in a band. I never knew that. Who's Jared Leto? The dude that played the Joker in Suicide Squad. Okay. And he's, like, in, like, a music duo. So is the dude from 13 Reasons Why. Which one? Clay? Yeah. Huh. Dude, uh, Finn, Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things, he's in a rock band. He also makes movies. Does he really? Did you know that? He's he not. makes films. 
They're really cool. I mean, cool. I can see that. Does he have, like, an old With YouTube? a YouTuber. With an old YouTuber. Is he on... Are they on YouTube? Yes. I'll have to check them out. Yeah, he makes, like, music videos, and they make... They're making films and stuff. That's cool. I figured out the YouTubers. No, he was, like, an ex-Viner, and now he makes a couple of YouTube videos. Nice. Yeah. Create Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's probably posting videos again. Um... Creator. I keep seeing, yeah, and they're terrible. <laughs> they're terrible. <laughs> we should do a reaction to those videos. They're yeah. so bad. Yeah, but they're so funny, and it, and I love I love watching the fan base of Create Tyler. That's the best <laughs> because they're all like, "He's back!" No, they're all like, "I love the vibes, dude. Keep it up. Like, uh, love the vibes you're making. Amazing editing." But it's like, dude, come on. Like. I can put a, a a pink filter over my videos too, and like, <laughs> I don't know. First I'll black and white this, then I'll pink filter it. He's so interesting, man. It's weird. I don't know. We should do a reaction next time on the podcast. On the podcast? Yeah, why not? Okay, with the video. It's not like we post anything else besides this. True. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll put a video up or something. React to it. Okay. I'll bring my camera and laptop. Oh, we got a new microphone. Yeah. You can't tell us because we're not using it. But we got it. Well, this is the other new microphone that I've had for a while, and we're using this. And, and it works. This it, is great. This is actually really good quality. Yeah, I don't even know why you got that new microphone, besides um. the fact that it was free. <laughs> um, yeah, I just didn't have my laptop to plug it into the USB, so yeah. we couldn't use it. Yeah, I wanted to test it out on this episode, but sorry, this dude, it's okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. <sighs> Not prepared. <sighs> You, you ever know seen, what that yawn means? You ever seen Hoodwink? Yeah, I saw it. This, I made like three of them. This lesson must be shared. Be prepared. Okay, I haven't, I've haven't. seen it like three times. Not a hundred. <laughs> I don't know what that line is. Be prepared. It's like where the goat starts singing. Uh, like, okay. Be prepared. be prepared. This lesson must be shared. You've watched it too many times. I've watched it like twice. What? You're lying. Keith. You need to change your you name. You have not watched it too many times. <laughs> Keith. That's not an evil name. You need to change your name, Keith. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't believe that two times name. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate it if you finished this whole thing. I don't think anyone... I know my parents listen to this. Do they really? Yeah. That's I mean, weird. well, at least they did on their way back to South Dakota. Oh, okay. This is literally like, oh, if I was driving, I'd love to listen to us. Like, if I wasn't us. Fair enough. You know? Yeah, I So, that. whoever's driving right now... I hope you're listening to us, and I appreciate that. Yeah. And I feel like that's what podcasts are made for. It's just like... For the people. No, oh. not everyone. Because people have stuff to do, and they don't have 50 minutes to listen to you talk about movies. Yeah, that's But if you're on the road, this is fantastic. Yeah. Or if you're just really bored, I guess. <laughs> or... Cleaning your room. Mm. You know, mowing the lawn. Maybe. Maybe. No. Driving to work. I just wouldn't listen. I don't listen to many podcasts anymore. But I did when I was working at the door shop. Because it was like one of those things that you're just like. I need something. You need something. Like music. <laughs> you you can already listen to so many songs. Like it's time to listen to someone talk. Like yeah. and actually speak or hear someone. Fair enough. So whoever's like working a really um, tedious long job. Hello. And with that, maybe I'm wrong. Say, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe a bunch of people listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> Definition of a bunch is a small group. Yeah, like ten, like ten. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Anyways, well, with that, we say goodbye. Yeah, bye, guys. Uh, see you next week. <sighs> Goonies never say die. End it, dude. I'm not <laughs> commenting on that. <laughs> <laughs> Goonies have a bigger fan base and than Lord of the Rings. Where's the stop?